Okay, salam alaikum grade 12. So now we will be solving uh, one sample problem uh, related to the uh, to Coulomb's law, which is used to calculate the electrostatic force uh, on a uh, charge. Uh, the problem is uh, find the net force on QA, where QA equals negative 5 microcoulomb, QB equals negative 3 microcoulomb, and QC is positive 3 microcoulomb. The, the three charges are arranged, as you can see here in the figure. Uh, QA is at this point, QB is uh, to the left of QA, 12 centimeters away, uh, QC is uh, below QA, the distance between QA and QC is 20 centimeters. So all these numbers that you see in black uh, are given for us. We need to calculate the total force, net force means total force on the charge QA, this charge over here. Uh, QB will be affecting QA. As we see that QA is negative, while QB is also negative, QC is positive. So, QB actually will repel QA because like charges repel each other. The force will be repulsive between them. While QA and QC are of different nature. So, QC will attract QA. So, there are two forces affecting QA. F1, which is due to QB, it's a repulsive force acting to the right. And uh, F2, which is an attractive force because QA and QC will be attracting each other and it is directed downward. If we want to calculate the net force, we need to calculate first each one uh, separately. F electric in general, to find the electric force on any charge, you need to apply Coulomb's law, which says K, Q1, Q2, divided by R squared, where K, this is just a reminder for you, K is a constant, 9 times 10 to the power of 9 Newton meter squared, divided by Coulomb squared. Also, something else to put in our mind, here, microcoulomb, uh, is not the SI unit. To convert from microcoulomb to, to coulomb, at any time you need to multiply uh, by 10 to the power negative 6. So let us start and calculate F1. F1 will be K, which is 9 times 10 to the power of 9. The two charges, we will multiply them. QA is negative 5. Again, microcoulomb, so I need to multiply by 10 to the power of negative 6 times Q2, which is a QB, it's negative 3, times 10 to the power of negative 6, divided by the distance uh, between them squared. Now, the distance here, as you can see, it's not in the SI unit, it's given in centimeter. To convert it from centimeter to meter, I divide by 100, or I multiply by 10 to the power of negative 2. So, 12 centimeter converted to meters, it will give me 0 0.12 meter squared. Using your calculators, you will find that F1 will be 9, simple calculation, you can check with me, 9.375 in Newton. Put on your, in your mind, uh, on your mind that whenever the force is positive, this means it is of a repulsive nature. Now, Similarly, we can use Coulomb's law to calculate F2. For F2, it's the force between QA and QC. So we will start with the constant, Coulomb's constant, times the charge A, neg negative 5 times 10 to the power of negative 6, times C. C is 3 plus 3 times 10 to the power of negative 6, divided by the distance in meters squared. Again, using this, uh, equation, we will find that F2 will be negative 3.375 in Newton. Being negative means that this force is an attractive force. 
because it will uh, the force will be negative when the two charges are uh, different or unlike. Unlike. Okay. Now we are interested in the net force. If you take a look at the sketch that we have, you can see that F1 and F2 are perpendicular. So to add them, to find the net force and uh, to add F1 and F2, I need to apply the Pythagorean theorem since they are perpendicular. So F1 squared plus F2 squared. So F net will be square root 9. 0.375 squared plus negative 3.375 squared. Putting these numbers on the calculator, we will get that the net force on charge QA is 9.96 in Newton. Now, this is the magnitude. This is the magnitude of the net force. On the sketch, if you want to see where what is the net force, it will be something like this, pointing somewhere in the middle between F1 and F2. Now, this is the magnitude of it, but since the force is a vector, we need to mention also the direction of it. I will be doing the, the direction steps in uh, the next video.